Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. Today we're taking a look at Android L developer preview on the Nexus 5. So recently, just about, uh, you know, today, earlier today, they actually went to release the Android L preview for the Nexus 5 and also the Nexus 7 2013 edition. So here's my Nexus 5, of course. It's definitely not the Nexus 7. Um, with the factory images on here. So this is all 1% stock unrooted with Android L developer preview. Now, please don't use this as a daily driver as it's not intended as a daily driver. It has a lot of issues within it. It's not a finished product by a long shot. Um, they're gonna be releasing the official Android L version in October around that date, they should have. Um, so right now they don't have it, it's not completed, it's not a completed project just yet. So you can go and try it out after you come home from work and all that, or if you have a couple hours just to spare, you can go and install this, try it out, then revert back to your previous stable Android KitKat version. Um, that's what I would recommend if you wanna go ahead and use this at your work, at your school, um, while you're on the go, go ahead. Just don't blame me. Don't blame Google. <laughs> you made that decision. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at all the new features, all the changes that is made in this new Android L preview compared to Android KitKat for the Nexus 5. So first off, you can see it's a new wallpaper. Um, this is the only wallpaper that has changed. And also with the Google Play launcher, or you know the Google Experience Launcher, um, you can see wallpapers. That's a little bit different icon than your usual one. That's the only difference I can spot in the whole Google Experience Launcher. If you go ahead and open it up, as you can see, all your other wallpapers were here since KitKat, even this one, including the purple one. And interesting, Sunbeam is also included, even though this is for more Google Play Edition phones. Um, but that's all right. This is a new. Oh, this one is a new wallpaper right here for Android L as of now. Um, also, you can see that's a new navigation bar software keys right there. So you have back as a triangle, home or circle as a home screen, also square as recents. So we can go ahead and take a look at recents right here. Um, so this is how it looks like. It's more of a card based look. So very, very similar to how Google now works with the cards and all that. Unfortunately, I tried out Google Chrome and the tabs do not work within the recents. So let's see it two tabs open. It should uh, show both separate tabs within the recents, um, but Google Chrome has not been updated or Google L has not been supported yet with that new feature as of now. Uh, not a big deal, but here are the new, you know, this is the new way to actually access all your open applications. It's a more of a card look, keeps it more cleaner, I guess, but it could be a little bit pain if you want to close each out manually. And also if you want, let's say you want, you're looking for settings, you don't know where it is. So you have to go slowly one by one until you see settings at the end. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna be the most convenient way. It does look a lot better and I like it. The new effects and all that transitions and all that. I don't know if it's gonna be the most convenient for a lot of people. By the way, I like the new improvement overall. Um, also, here's Google Now. Uh, it's very basic, the exact same as before. So that's not a big deal at all. Uh, also, calculator has changed up. The, first of all, the icon has changed and also if you go ahead and open it up, this is a new calculator look. Also, as you can see, there are no lines in between the numbers, so it's more just together. And if you go and tap on it, it's more of a circular tap instead of a square one. Um, as you can see, that ripple effect too. So I'm actually a big fan of the ripple effect. And also, it changes depending on where you tap it. So if I go ahead and tap it on the corner, right there, it actually uh, starts off from the corner. If I tap it on the center, it starts off on the center. Um, you can see how it works. The ripple effect starts off from the corner right there, center. Um, so it does change, so I really do like all that detail they did put it within that. Um, and here's your little advanced section here too. Also, the other application that they did uh, change is settings. So that's a big one right here. So we can go and scroll up. So first of all, you can see um, this is a new, uh, instead of it being blue or white, it's more gray. And if I go ahead and move my hand around, you can see that uh, bubble effect does move around with me, with my hand where it goes. So that's a really nice effect too. A lot of detail into this, just because it knows where your finger is and all that. So I really like that. Also, as you can see, it's more of a white uh, teal. These All these icons are a little bit teal greenish right here. If you're wondering about the color, if it doesn't come correctly on camera, that is a little bit teal and all that right there. Uh, for the most part, it's all basic. If you're going to open up Wi-Fi, again, you can see that ripple effect. Also, the switch is a little bit different. So the switch is, once again, teal. Icons are black and white within the Wi-Fi look. If you, go, you can go and turn it on and off. 
it becomes black and gray right there uh, once it's off and teal once it is turned on. So that's different. Um, let's see what else is there. Not a lot of changes within the actual uh, options and all that. Looks pretty much the same personal accounts system and all that. I also went ahead and turned on developer options just a few minutes ago. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit, but we can go into about phone. Um, so it does show Nexus 5 Android version L right there. So we can go ahead and tap on Android version. So this is a new Easter egg, um, at least for now. It's definitely not a finished product. As you can, as you can see, um, the text on the bottom is doesn't look very nice. It shows .flv build number and the number and all that. So it's definitely not the nicest one or anything. So I don't know if this is gonna be the official Easter egg. Really doesn't make too much sense, but for now, this is the Easter egg for Android L developer preview version. And if you go ahead and hold it down, I think if you hold it down, it should show up. I did this earlier. Um, let's go ahead and keep tapping on it. There we go. And I'll show you all the Android versions right here. So here's your jelly bean right there, gingerbread, donut, cupcake. So you guys get the idea. All the Android versions are right here. So we can go back and back out of this as well. And we can go into developer options. And I and if you guys didn't know, by default, it is running on Android Art. And once they do officially release it, it will be running on Android Art, which I'm really happy about. And I was wondering if they actually allowed you to switch back from Dalvik to Art within developer, and yeah, within developer options. But they don't even have an option for that, which I'm actually surprised about, since they don't even have an option for going back and forth between Dalvik and uh, you know Dalvik and Art. So there's that. So yeah, there's no Android runtime at all. I don't see it at all on here. So I guess they went ahead and removed that since they don't even want to deal with Dalvik anymore. So here's your new settings, the new look and all that. Um, I'm a big fan of it, I like it. Um, it's a lot more white and all that, so I don't know how I'm gonna like that. I personally like more dark apps, but it is what it is and it's a new look, so I'm a fan of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new notification looks since it is a lot different. So if you go ahead and swipe down just a little bit, It'll show you your time, Wi-Fi, signal, battery, and what you're logged in with. So here's my new Gmail. Here's my Gmail one with my uh, Android guy icon right there. And it'll show, you, it'll show you any notifications you have. So here's a notification for the FIFA World Cup from Google Now. If you pull down even more, it'll give you the rest of the options for toggling Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, emergency calls. It'll show your signal and all that for you. I don't have a SIM card in it. That's why it shows this. Airplane mode, notifications, auto-rotate, which I heard is a new feature since they didn't offer it in previous Android versions, which I'm surprised about. I never noticed that. Also locations and cast screen right there. You can go and swipe up to make it disappear. So just as easy as that. So pretty basic stuff, nothing too crazy. Everything does seem, you know, pretty uh, reasonable for what they updated. It's not a 360 change up and all that. They also went ahead and changed up the keyboard look. So in this look, they also went ahead and removed all the lines. So it's not squares or you know small rectangles around each letter. Uh, so you can see that. And if we go ahead and tap on it, um, the, actually this time there is no ripple effect. It just gives you gives you the letters for it. Um, so that is a little bit interesting right there. Um, also the new circular enter right there. Go ahead and tap on enter, and that's a new circular enter. Also, the new another new application, which I think is the last one, is the dialer. So here's the new dialer. Um, it's a little bit weird since everything else is more gray, uh, you know, dark gray, teal, and all that. But this is more teal. Has a yellow, um, a yellow line right there, letting you know which one you're on. So it's a little bit interesting, but it is what it is. Also, here's your new dial pad right there. As you can see, it does have that new glowing uh, circular. Um, ripple effect as well on here as well so you can see that the new ripple effect hopefully they'll show up fine on camera uh, but there you guys go so that's a new look also you have of course uh, to search your phone and places you can go and search for Pizza Hut or anything like that restaurants and also go and search your contacts really really easily and also since I just got a new Gmail notification I'm gonna go and show you the lock screen as well and how that works so this is the new lock screen. There are actually no notifications up at top. Oh, actually it does show up at top as well. So it shows up at the top and also it shows up on your lock screen. It'll show up for missed phone calls, text messages, hangouts, any notification it'll show up on here um, on your lock screen right there. So it's really convenient. 
So if I want to go ahead and look, see more details on it, I can go and pull down. And as you can see, you get more details. Maybe you're not interested in this notification. You can go and swipe it away and you're done. If you're not, if you're done with maybe this notification, you can go and swipe it away and you're done. And to unlock it, you can go ahead and just, you know, tap on this unlock screen and pull up and then you're done. So it's really basic, very, very simple to use. And I, it's much more convenient than actually swiping down every time you're on the lock screen to see your notification. And also they added this new dialer option right here. So if you go and swipe left to right, you automatically enter into your dialer app. And also right to left enters you into your camera app, which was also shown within, I believe, Jellybean and definitely KitKat as well. So I think that is it for what the new features are, at least for now. Um, they're probably adding more features later on. Um, hopefully, um, you know, uh, more improvements and all that and more notable, noticeable battery improvements and all that since they are working, they have a new project called Project Volta, which will improve battery life and all that. So yeah, I think that is it. I'm scrolling, looking at Android news right now to see if I missed anything, notifications. Yeah, it runs on art, which I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, I think that's it guys. So that is it. That is a quick look or actually 11 minutes, just about 11 to 12 minute look on Android L developer preview on the Nexus 5. This is also available for the Nexus 7 2013 edition. Now be aware this is not intended to be used as a daily driver. So use it on the weekend, use it on your day off, use it when you come home from work, try it out, see if it's stable enough for your needs. Um, even if it looks stable when you're using it, I'd still recommend you go back to KitKat even, you know, even that since there are a lot of issues, there are still, there are still months, uh, you know, behind until they actually went ahead and released the, uh, you know, the official version of Android L, whatever that's going to be called, Lollipop, Lemonhead, uh, we really don't know. Maybe they're just going to call it Android L. Um, maybe, um, I don't know. So that is it guys, that is my review, preview, whatever you want to call it, of Android L for the Nexus 5. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom of the fan corner right there. Do appreciate all the support you guys do give me and be sure to stay tuned and keep checking back to this channel as there is going to be more content on Android L features, custom ROMs, probably I'm going to have a custom ROM later today or tomorrow once it does become available on Android L for the Nexus 5. Um, so you can easily just install it via Clock of Mind Recovery or Twerp if you're already rooted. So I'll explain that in that video as well. But uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus, which will be linked down below. And yeah, guys, go ahead and try out Android L in your free time when it is safe for you to use. And until then, I'll catch you later. Peace.